These are the only things we've laid down to build, right? That means our builders should be eventually getting to it, although sometimes it's been... Oh, right, the logging camps, too. Fair enough. What matter requires Presidente's attention? Go for the limo, Presidente. Get over there and help them. Help them. That's what we're going to call it. Also, you can do quick build, which I would recommend. We've got an open doors policy. That means we're getting 60% more immigrants than we normally would. Still not a ton, because this place uh, it still sucks. Presidente! I see that it. your council of ministers is up and running. Well done. Thanks, Nick Bridges. Yeah, the game's really going in first gear for you right here. I'm just going to pay to quick build these things right now. Peace and love, dear Presidente. Please accept this flower wreath as a gift and hear my plea. Yeah, Sunny Flowers is the one on the radio. She'll bug you about stuff. Generally, the environmentalists hate me because I do stuff like logging and mining and polluting. And fun stuff. Comrade, progress does not wait for anyone. Generally, this guy has decent points. Like, he points out how the housing is really crappy. Something like a ranch is something that's easy to make, even if you quick build it. Not to mention, there's some good ranching land. Uh. We can just really take our pick. Maybe down here? Yeah, the grade is sort of steep, but it could still... Let's make two. Ranches are a good way to solve some food problems. Also, if you can, keep making road connections. It'll help your traffic issues a bit. Authorizing some quick building. We're not going to have enough people to staff all this stuff. I see you've made progress on your little island, my friend. Overall happiness. That's this number. So if we accept this mission, it just means more Swiss bank account money. Which, let's be fair, it is nice. Uh, Presidente, we need doctors to improve health care on the island. Oh, ah, uh, I was putting that off, but... Yeah, the game really wants me to build tenements, and... That's a good idea. Second clinic... Not sure where to put it. We're really spread out. I could build a clinic on each of the arms. Although, typically, the workers there will just come down into town. I think I'll put a clinic here. Eh. You can see, that symbol means there's no workers here, which is just something that has to shake itself out over time. Malicious journalists are spreading lies about St. Clara in the foreign press, Presidente. Hmm. Our citizens are living in shacks and makeshift homes. And here's where we decide where our housing policy will go. I am a big fan of spreading tenements around. Average housing for everyone. Affordable house. Everybody can... Everybody uh, appreciates being in a tenement much more than being in a shack. Like, if it wasn't this scenario, they, they really would be rioting. Good housing for everyone. Apartment buildings. Expensive. And they don't house as much. We're going to go with tenements for this one. We'll get to apartments later. Tenements are an inexpensive way to solve the housing problems early on. Yeah, you can pack 12 families into that thing. Better housing than shacks, shanties, or bunk houses. Yep, and we can switch to apartments and condominiums later, but the important thing is getting people in homes. There's a little trick I like to do. You know what? As a matter of fact... There's no reason we can't do this. Let's check out our edicts. Our edicts. There we go. And now that we have ministers, we can do a lot of stuff. Specifically, if we look at our foreign affairs, USSR and US both offer development aid packages. 50% discount on tenements and apartments. That means a tenement that costs 4000 now costs 2000 Just no questions asked permanent. Once you get it, it's the rest of the match. I really love doing this. Like, I'll build a ministry and a foreign and a foreign affairs minister like, first off, just so I can immediately start affording housing. This just it costs 2000 so the economic benefits really redound to you. And as a matter of fact, we can take a look at other uh, edicts we can issue. We've already issued some general stuff. 
Education. We don't have police and military, so we don't have to worry about their impact on liberty. Uh, literacy program. We need a high school. This is a nice thing. No, I'd recommend doing this as soon as you get a high school and an education minister. <laughs> and you can print money. I uh, would not recommend that one, no. And defense, there's stuff. Although, really, we don't need defense yet because no rebels at all. Okay, with the development aid, we can start laying down tenements. I like to lay them down right on shacks, both because I enjoy destroying shacks, and because that's just, like that's where people are living, so clearly they want to live there. As a matter of fact, let's plop down a pair of tenements here. Let's hook them into the road, and especially with housing buildings, I really do like to quick build them a lot, because I wonder if we can get this a bit more straight laced. Yeah, I just gotta build it in smaller segments. I like to quick build, because then it's still just you're paying regular price for a tenement, but you get it immediately and people can start living there. And we'll see that start to happen immediately. Everyone from college people to ministers, farmers, soldiers that work in our palace. You want those. You want them to have good stuff. As a matter of fact, I'd go a little hog wild with housing in terms of wherever you see a decent amount of shacks, that is the place for a tenement. I really like the rush by feature in case you haven't noticed. Restaurant helps give some basic entertainment to the island. It's a really small building. It only requires a couple workers. They don't have to be educated. It's it's a cheap way to help people unwind a little bit. Tenement's really like I'm a big tenement fan. The housing quality is 35 compared to a uh, shack, which is. Oh, the shacks are gone, so I can't click on for comparison. Oh, there's still one over there. Ten. So it's three times the housing quality, and you better believe people will notice. Oh, and by the way, the lumber... You can actually see, like, them actually felling trees, and... I keep emphasizing the scale and scope of this game, because it's worth emphasizing. This mission will take care of itself. This one will be a little more difficult. <laughs> I would prefer if the builders finished up. Books for everyone. Hmm. U.S. Congress has chosen your island to make a special grant. Literacy program ADH is active. You will receive an additional 5,000. And you can choose to embezzle all the money if you're a horrible person. Coming through. Uh, no, I don't. If want you want something done, do it yourself. Filthy rich, yeah. Sure, don't feel it. Okay, so our only thing is, I'm just gonna send out for one doctor, and we'll see if another college-educated person can fill the position. Sometimes they'll arrive on boats, very infrequently, but sometimes they'll do it. Entertainment. Hey, I was just thinking about that. I just read the most interesting study. It appears that entertained people will spend more. I don't know about that, but we'll give it a try. <laughs> we do need to improve things. For our... That's one of the many areas that this place is lacking in. I think, in my presidential capacity, I think a cabaret would greatly increase the quality of life on our island. I think, I think that would be a good thing to have. I've laid down so much construction that our construction office actually doesn't know what the hell to do. So uh, nothing is getting built. That's our situation right now. Well, there's a way to help that. There's not really a way to fix the fact that your construction workers are mentally deficient. But you can build another construction office and hire more. That's another place where I'd recommend a quick build if you're so inclined. Get it up quick. Uh-oh. Yeah. Sir, an enemy tornado 
has infiltrated our defenses. Yeah, we have a problem, everybody. And that problem is named Mr. Tornado. Hi, Mr. Tornado. If you'll notice, we were actually doing pretty well on the island so far. I mean, some of the conditions for the people are shitty, but... We were doing okay. Then Mr. Tornado arrives. He'll fix that. Uh, you can't repair stuff while it's in an active disaster, and tornadoes take forever. They're my least favorite disaster. El Presidente just got hurt. Oh, God. So you just rip it through. The Ultimo, this ain't the... Shut up, Penultimo. Also, that tornado's probably louder than I am by quite a bit, according to the audio levels I tried checking. You just have to wait for the storm to ride out. There's nothing you can really do about it. You can see it'll leave a wake of destruction in some buildings can't repair until after the disaster, so just let it go. 